Hey everyone, so tonight we're going to review on the Marvel Legends Miles Morales from the Venom Pool Wave and Spider-Man Maximum Venom cartoon. It has a cool image of Miles with Carnage on him, along with the other figures in the wave, one of the smaller waves, only six figures. has a little brief bio, has a nice image of the figure. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up and we'll check out the details. First up, he does come with the left arm of Venom Pool with one grasping hand and one gripping hand. Looks pretty cool. It's a very heavy figure. All right, now checking out Miles with Carnage on him. It looks actually really cool. I actually like the head sculpt itself. It's, I like that the veins here are kind of are all sculpted on and they're painted red. It is a little sloppy. Um, you can see some of the red didn't quite get on to the sculpt, so you got some black showing there. The eyes look pretty good. That eye looks better than this eye. This eye has some little blemish right there. I like that the uh, mouth is open. You can see the teeth and his tongue in there. Very cool. It does wrap all the way around, but you can see, yeah, the red didn't just quite get on all the little pieces. And the chest here just has the red spider logo, which looks pretty clean. Clean. It gets a little choppy there, here and there, but not too bad. The upper chest part looks great. I like how this is all sculpted. I think this looks really cool. It's just got that red paint over it. Pretty decent. Here on this side it looks a little better. It's just, I mean, for these being mass produced, you can't expect it to be perfect, but it does a pretty good job. He's got more of an open hands. Where they're kind of this one got a little warped from the package, but they look pretty cool. Got the little fingernails. Tiny little guy, and that's the teenage body mold. And then he's got the red on the feet, and you can even see some more sculpt on the top of the feet there. It is cool that they sculpted it and not just you know painted it on there the red all the way around but the legs are pretty smooth same thing with the upper body uh just the arms and the feet and the head anyway i'm gonna go over the articulation head looks left and right and up and down he could kind of rock them side to side got bulging in the shoulders they move pretty far up forward and back upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist rotation also a hinge at the wrist it's pretty gummy uh Crunches down, arches back. Ooh, the red, red doesn't quite go all the way up. Waist swivel, kicks up, spreads pretty far. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Boot rotation, ankle boot down, they move up. He does have nice ankle rockers and no pickles to bottom his feet because he's got pretty wide feet. Anyway, I'll show you guys how tall Carnage Miles is. <laughs> all right, guys, so Carnage Miles stands. A little under six inches tall and here he is next to the miles from the space venom wave and the miles from a long time ago from the amazing spider-man wave the walmart exclusive the one that came with the uh, little web shield i do not have the uh, spider-verse two pack miles and then the more current miles he's on the way so at least we'll have more miles to compare with that figure but overall so it's a cool looking figure. I do like pieces of it, uh, but I feel like it was kind of one of those kind of thrown in figures in a sense too, because it's not really, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say exactly. I know it's from like the cartoon. So it's just kind of one of those fun figures. I'll definitely stick them on my, you know, symbiote side of my shelf. My kids love this figure. They think it's awesome because they love the cartoon. So that's one thing that this definitely uh, gears towards, in my opinion, towards kids a lot. They they definitely, uh, at least mine, really like it. Anyway, enough of me talking. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of Carnage Miles. <laughs> Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Thanks. Have a great night.